You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. Hello, how are you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. Before we start, if you're not a freedom, wanting, liking, liberty person, and if you are a social justice warrior, SJW, communist, Marxist, socialist, please exit the channel. And on that note, guys... Let's start the show. I want to start the show by uh, by an article that I read from Breitbart, right? I'll link the article in the description below. It's about Dianne Feinstein, right? Dianne Feinstein is a senator from senator from California, and she's a strong advocate of gun control, right? She said this foolish thing to a reporter this this week about gun control, about her comment on the Poway shooting, right? The article state, right? Diane Feinstein on synagogue attack. Enough is enough. More gun control now, right? More gun control, gun control now. If you don't know Diane Feinstein, she's been advocating gun control for all her Senate life, right? All her Senate life. She even goes far as saying she almost got all the Senate votes to get banned. If she would ban, she would ban it right now. So basically, she's advocating advocating taking your rights away from you. This is an evil woman of California, right? This is a career politician. She's been in the Senate for how many years now? So there's need to be a term limit to get this woman out. This woman is an agent of chaos. But I digress on that. Let's, be, let's continue on the article, right? Diane Feinstein, Democratic California, walked from a lectern after speaking in a press conference in Capitol Hill, January 24, 2013, in Washington, D.C. House Senate. Democrat was joined by that a law enforcement official to introduce an assault weapon ban in 2013 legislation to ban assault style high capacity magazine. When I say assault style, what do you mean assault style? Right? You gotta look at that word, the wordplay, assault style. That means any gun! Any gun could be used as assault. Alright? Basically, she wanted to ban all your guns. Right? Basically, it's by optics. Right, any gun could be, could be classified as assault if you use it in the right way. All right, so it's all wordplay. She's a lawyer, by the way. Right, she knows how to ma- manipulate words. A ban assault style weapon in high capacity magazines. All right. Okay, going on saying Diane Feinstein, Democrat of California, responds to the attack on congressional, I mean congregation. Shabbat and powwow by calling more gun control now. More gun, gun control now? What do you mean more gun control? We, if anything, California had the most gun control. All right? There's already been an FBI database background check, right? Background check, not only background check, right? A week background check, I think. There's a five-day holding, I think. Correct me on that, on the description. How many days is the holding, right? Correct me on that. Right? There's all these restrictions, and she want more? How much more do you want? All right, but let's continue. She used to tweet to criticize weapon of wars, right? Weapons war. Is, didn't your security guard have weapons? Didn't your security guard carry guns to protect you from getting harassed, getting attacked, right? Adding, it's far past time to put place a concrete common sense of gun safety. What is common sense gun safety policy? What's her, what is her definition? They like to use this vague term. Common sense, why don't you just say it, all right? Have to use all these vague terms. Common sense gun safety policy to take the weapons of our street. What is that? Could you please explain that in further detail, Diane Feinstein? Huh? Could you please? See? But let's continue. Diane wrote, Feinstein wrote, military style weapons are far too easy to purchase. First of all, military assault style assault weapons, automatic weapons. All right. Let's just not get, let's not get that confused. There's, Fully automatic and semi-automatic. Fully automatic has already been banned, right? It's illegal to have that. So what are you talking about? Military style? That could be anything. All right? A rifle. A Remington 22. That's issued by the military. It could be used as a rifle. You could ban that too. And civilians use that too. The Remington 22. Right? So what are you talking about military style? Any gun could be used as a military style. It doesn't make any sense. That's the, they, they wouldn't use that word military style as a vague context to manipulate you. They wouldn't use it as, as optics. All right? Which is BS. Mer- Let's continue. Military style weapon far too easy to purchase and 
often no background check at all, and they all design. That is totally a lie. That's totally, there's always a background check. You, when you do a when you buy a weapon, they can run your name to the the FBI database, all right? To the government. How is no background check? Have this woman ever purchased a gun? Have this woman ever purchased a gun? She need to answer that. Have she ever purchased? She says it's easy to obtain. All right, Diane Fanson, show us how easy to obtain. Go over there and purchase yourself a gun. All right, it's not easy to obtain. All right, if it's e if it is easy to obtain, these they're, they're criminals. Criminals can get gun regardless of the law. That's what these liberals don't understand. Criminals will get gun regardless of the law, designed to be deadly as possible. What gun? What gun isn't designed to be deadly? It's a protective device. It's a tool for protection from people. All right? It's not designed to shoot out bubbles, daisy flowers and stuff. It's designed for a purpose. What do you think a gun's supposed to be? Shoot out um fairy dust? I don't understand these these people logics. All right? Design well, how do you expect it to be designed? Huh? Have have um horns and on it or something like that? But let's continue. She didn't mention that California state, which is a synagogue attack occurred, already has the assault weapons ban. I already mentioned that they already have assault weapons ban. Did nor did she mention that California have a universal background check. I already I already mentioned that, which is linked to the FBI database, which means buying a gun, whether a rifle, shotgun, or or a five shot revolver, is illegal there. All right. Feinstein also overlooked California gun regul registration requirement, gun confiscation via red flag laws, a safety certificate required for would-be gun purchaser. See, all these restrictions, the problem making it illegal for 18 and 20 year old to buy firearms. So you can't, you can't even buy a gun if you're 18 and 20. All right, you gotta be, I guess, 21. I remember back in the days, a, a father could give his, his gun to a kid at the, at the age of 12, right? If anything, there's more restriction than it is today than it was so many years ago. All right, but let's continue. Down the range with A.W.R. Hawkins. Wait, that's some other thing. All right. And there are many other gun control in California, including ammunition control, None of that prevent the attack. None of it. The attack at the synagogue was prevented by an off-duty patrol officer, border patrol officer, giving him a handgun, and he chased him out. All right? They didn't disclose that. President Trump called for armed protection places of worshiping of the October 27, 2018 attack in Trees of Life Synagogue. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he called for armed protection where mo were mocked by Senator Chris Murphy, a Democrat, and student gun control activist David Hogg, a retard. I'm going to attack this kid, man. He's a dumb kid. Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Dedu I, don't, I don't know what that is. Bill, Bill Peduto rejected the, the call for armed security and shifted the conversation to more What the hell? If you don't Provide any armed security, right? This criminal will 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 come regardless. All right, you have to you need to, you need to have some kind of deterrent from from these people not to be there. All right, if you don't have any kind of deterrent from these people taking advantage advantage of these um easy targets, all right? These easy targets, these gun free zone, they are easy targets. Why do you think a lot of schools are getting attacked? It's because they're easy target. They got no security, right? Even bank have securities. Bank have securities. And they think a criminal will disregard just because it's a, a criminal can do it. If they want to do it, they can, they can do it regardless, right? Regardless of gun-free zone. And Donald Trump's providing a solution, and they don't even take a solution. What is the suggest suggestion? Take away guns from law-abiding citizens, right? Yeah, you take away guns from law-abiding citizens, but the, the criminal will get the gun regardless. All right, they're criminals. They're gonna break the law. This is what the, these these liberals don't understand. Criminal are going to break the law regardless. All right, and they don't want they want to restrict law-abiding citizens from having the ability to protect themselves from criminals. 
That's what all these gun com- confiscation is. All right. Not only that, they won't take your guns away from you. But what if the the the, the law is written, the amendment is written to protect us from a tyrannical government? All right. If the government take the gun away from you, right now, everybody be disarmed. The government could rule over you and be a tyrannical government. Backstab over you. This is why we are we have the right to bear arms to prevent a tyrannical government. Government like the British was to the to the United States. They were a tyrannical government, and what made them success? What make America successful? We have the ability to protect ourselves by guns, by weapons. All right. This is why. Don't don't make just because it's, it's in the 1700s. Don't make it seem like it's irrelevant today. It's still relevant. American government, if it's run by the Democrat, it could still be tyrannical. All right? That's what these Democrats don't understand. These Democrats got to learn the hard way. And conservative, we refuse to learn the hard way. All right? We will not. They, they want to use these words to evoke emotional response. One thing about conservative, right, and libertarian, they're not easily persuaded by emotional attack tactics. All right? They know that emotion is a weak attribute, so they know how to control it. So if you try to use emotion with a conservative, it's not going to work. It's not going to work with it. All right? We know how to control our emotions. Not like these these um, beta male liberals out there. All right? These beta male Democrats. They do not know how to control their emotions. First things first, what? Oh, the re- emotion. 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 Respond to their emotion. Your emotion will lead to your detriment. All right? But let's finish this, finish this article. And that's the end of the article. But um, yeah, that's what Diane Feinstein. This girl, if you, if you know her background and her history, she's been trying to ban guns for all her Senate career, right? This woman, she won't take your firearms away from you, but yet again, she's allowed to have her her security to be armed to protect her. Like Diane Feinstein, what is protecting you from getting shot? Huh? Your bodyguard, and what do your bodyguard use to protect you? Their guns. All right, what, what, what protect you from getting, getting attacked? The police. What do police have to protect you? Their guns. All right, and the police can't be with you twenty four seven. Some places it take an hour for a police response. So when in that hour in a life threatening situation and you need help, who are you gonna depend on? You can't depend on the police one hundred percent. You need to have some kind of gun. All right, take down the assailant, hold them down until the police come. All right. That's what these these um these elitist Democrat, this limousine Democrat don't understand. And I'm telling you bothered by it, because they don't understand the purpose of the Second Amendment rights. Alright? It's for our protection. We are entitled. It's so important they have to pay, they, they have to make it the Second Amendment. Alright? There it's not the thirty third, it's not twenty seven. Alright? It's a second amendment. It's that important. These people are stupid. America, if you're out there, don't be persuaded to try take your rights away. The Democrat platform, their whole platform is they try to run on is yes, we're the party of taking your rights away. Who who does that? Why would anybody want the right be to be taken away? If you a person who wants your right to be taken away, you are a naive person. You are simple. People are fighting all over the world to have rights, and you want pe- the government to take your rights away? Why don't you go live in the Soviet Union? Why don't you go live in Venezuela? They're they're they're. Pr- they're happy to take your rights away from you, right? Go to live in China. They're happy to take your rights away from you. You want you if you don't want your rights, right? Well, other nations, other country people are fighting to get rights, and you try to take away people's rights. Come on now, it's idiotic and stupid, right? But let me know you agree. I'll leave the article in the description below. I have my dog right here. But um, let me know. Do you think Diane Feinstein is stupid? Do you think it's going to fail? Like, I think it's going to fail. Like, always, oh, everything she can, everything she does is going to fail. All right? Let me know you agree. Do you like Diane Feinstein? Do you think she's an evil person? All right? Once again, to let you guys know, I'm I'm demonetized. Doesn't mean I'm not, I'm not bonded by any outside interference. Doesn't mean I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited. That means I can say anything I want. If you like what I do, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. I'm trying to get the message across. I'm not making a living after this. I'm doing this practically for free. All right? But if you like what I do, most definitely subscribe. And this is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. Um, on that note, I'll see you guys in the next podcast. Pro-
broadcast and you guys have a good day peace